what is going on youtube back at it again with some more gameplay for you the united sim football association keeps it moving we are in week number seven and we're going to start it off in the big leagues in just a little bit doing some uh minor changes to the uh, settings and stuff to get it back to the usfa format so don't mind the clicking that you kind of hear through the music but we are here once again for week number seven we're going to start off with arizona and huntington beach both of these teams are currently holding a playoff spot in the set at the current moment and huntington beach is one of the hot teams we're going to talk about before we get started i know i had to say something but if you've been in the discord channel you know that two trades have occurred uh right before the deadline which is next week uh we'll talk about the team that were uh, that got started with here huntington beach um, elects to trade both of their uh, top stars well two of their top stars on both sides of the ball action jackson and dexter jackson will be heading to st louis uh so pretty much a swap between those two and it will be darren eliason and ashley royal and i believe also a season six first round draft pick so Looks like uh, Huntington Beach will be. Let me let me get that back up. Uh, let me see if I can bring it. This to, uh, there you go. St. Louis Huntington Beach right here. So Huntington Beach will get Darren Eliason, Ashley Royal, and the first round draft pick next season. So they will be drafting first uh, next year. Should be a solid sight to see for sure. And uh, St. Louis would just get the straight up players right there. Action and Dexter Jackson. Uh, Huntington Beach will get that late first round draft pick. That's a solid job from them. Should be a solid trade on both sides. Both teams get some help in the passing game. And oh, actually, well, both help, both teams get help on offense and defense. And Huntington Beach, uh, they're looking to add some youth going into next season. Can't wait to say, see who they draft next year. And there's one more trade to note. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up real quick, but it's pretty close to my heart. It's a pretty crazy trade. Uh, I've been in some leagues for quite some time and have yet to have my two players involved in the trade where they're going to the opposite teams that they played for. So it looks like Vic Dotson, the former tight end of Tacoma, will be heading over to Charlotte. And Charlotte is going to pass away Preston Dotson. That's a pretty crazy trade right there, if I do say so myself. And let me go ahead and bring this up real quick, just make sure there aren't any other crazy stuff going. But yes, it looks like Charlotte receives the Season 7 Tacoma draft pick for the first round. So a couple of seasons from now, and Vic Dotson and Preston Dotson will be heading straight up towards Tacoma. I already made the changes uh, on my side, so... Uh, you'll we'll see them on the field all the good stuff when we get the games rolling but I'm, I had to click over just to see what happens on this one I got the uniforms ready Arizona will be in the all-white Huntington Beach will go in their modern blue jerseys with the new set Rebecca Montaigne already getting some new weapons joining the fold and we'll have to see how this passing offense does. Uh, no running game or they have a bot at the running back spot now as opposed to having the homies, uh, the homie Action Jackson there. But I'll go ahead and flip over it just a little bit. Just make sure all the settings are all good. Hope everyone's doing well. But while I'm setting this up, make sure you like and subscribe. Do what you need to do to get on the field. Show some love to all of our various affiliates. You know how we do over here. You see all the affiliates up top. Oh, you will see them up top on the top ticker when I flip over to the gameplay. And you'll also see it in the description down below. Make sure you hit those links up. All the good stuff is there. Our forum, our Discord, the Twitch channel, I believe is there. But I, if not, then I could definitely get you over to our Discord. And we'll provide that info there. Just until I get some time to actually go ahead and put it on the videos. But we're going to go ahead and flip over to the USFA gameplay channel to see what we're working with. And it looks like it's fairly even in regards to the 1K Sims, but the verdict between the developers says all Arizona should be a solid game to start off week number seven. The push for the playoffs is here starting right now. 
let's go ahead and hit the play game button. You know how I would do on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I'll let the stock commentary do its thing. So I'll go ahead and let it do its thing. I will see you on Saturday for LGU and Mile High for CSFA. Talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this matchup in the Axis Football League. For everyone here at the Axis Sports Network, my name is Dave Stevens alongside analyst Mike Steele. Thanks, Dave. As they say, it's raining cats and dogs today, which provides a perfect time for me to be able to remind you to seek out your local animal shelter and adopt a pet this week. As for the players, they're in for quite a mess out there. Yes, sir. This isn't the first time we've seen this rodeo, Mike. Well, Mike, I guess we'll just have to wait and see how this weather situation unfolds. Takes the return up to the 30. First down. Steps into the pocket. Fires one to the middle of the field. That brings up second down. When the pass has to get there in a hurry, the bullet is the QB's best weapon. Nice throw on the play. He tosses it to number 34. First down. He drops back. He can't make the catch. Second down. Throws one. Sanchez makes the reception. That will bring up third down. Let's see what the call is on third down. Puts his arm into this one. Incomplete pass. The kick is up. It's good. They convert from 28 yards out. The away team draws first blood today. Three, nothing. It's always good to get the monkey off your back with that first score. Washington kicks it away. Taken at the three yard line. Breaking away from the defense. Let's go down to our own Emma Adams, who has an update for us. Guys, I'm not sure what you can tell from your warm, dry booths up there, but the rain is falling so hard down here that it's affecting the visibility of the players, especially the ones wearing visors. If the rain doesn't let up, they may have to remove the visors for the remainder of the game. Thanks for the insight, Emma. Lining up on second down... Pitching it off to number 34. That gets us to third down. A crucial third down for the offense. Quarterback to pass. Makes a hard throw. And he's taken down. I think the wideout is down there, down counting his fingers after that pass. Take that fastball to Axis Baseball. He steps back to pass. Zings it. Number 88. Grabs the ball out of the air. That will bring up second down. Coming with pressure, number 89 makes the catch, and that's enough for a first down. Good. 
He makes the handoff. Second down. Second down. Steps into the pocket. Tosses a pass. Brought down up at the 38-yard line. Talk about rifling a pass in there, Dave. Next week, I'm bringing him duck hunting with me. I can save money on bullets with this guy. Number 38 with the handoff. That'll bring up fourth down. Number 66 on the punt. And the punt sails into the end zone. Touchback. The away team has a one possession lead going into the drive. Let's see what they can do with it. First down. <laughs> Number 17 hands it off. A five defensive back set for the home team. He drops back to pass, sets his feet and throws up the middle. He can't bring it in. Well, Dave, stick him isn't legal anymore, so this receiver has to maintain focus or he's going to be getting plenty of splinters from the bench soon. <laughs> Tosses the ball. Incomplete pass. The punt's away. Smith takes the kick. It's a one-score game, Dave. You have to feel good about your chances here if you're the offense. Let's see how they execute. The home team looking to get things going from the 39. Oh. Finds a target to the right side of the field. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Second down. Number 38 looking to pass. Third down. Third down and long. Number 38 drops back. He fires a pass. The receiver can't bring it in. This is exactly why third and long is so hard to convert. It takes time for the receivers to get to the first down marker, and by then, the QB is under pressure and forced to make a difficult throw. The punter punts it away. The kick is caught at the 19-yard line. The away team comes into this drive with a one-possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. Oh. Zings it. And he can't reel it in. Second down. Tonight. Fires one. The receiver can't bring it in. Third play of the drive. The QB looking to pass. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. The away team comes out in punt formation. Tonight. The punt's away. Taken at the 26-yard line. The offense has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Oh. 
Makes the handoff to number 34. So number 38 steps back into the pocket. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Let's see what the call is on third down. Number 38 dropping back. Number 88 makes the completion. That will move the chains. Not always mentioned on those, but not even a slight bobble of the ball, Dave. Even in traffic, this guy makes it look easy. He takes the ball. That gets us to second down. Second and short. He drops back to pass. Let's see what the call is on third down. He can't make the catch. The punt team makes its way up to the line. Number 66 punts it away. The punt goes into the end zone for a touchback. The away team comes into this drive with a one possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. Makes the handoff to number 34. First down. Brought down almost immediately. Second down. Second down. Tonight. Makes a hard throw up beyond the first down. Certain QBs, Dave, you can actually hear the ball being released. And I think this is one of those guys. He just shot the ball into the wideout. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. The away team up so far. Three, nothing. Number 17 tosses one out. Second down and short. Number 17 drops back. Incomplete pass. That will move the chains. Quarterback to pass. Snagged out of the air by number 88. He drops back, tosses the ball way downfield along the sideline. First down. The whiteout wasn't too quick to give that pass up. For a second, you wonder if it wasn't just embedded into his hands. 
Drops back into the pocket. Rifles a pass. And he can't reel it in. Second down and goal. Tonight. Here comes the rush. Sets his feet and throws. He can't make the catch. That'll bring up fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. It's up. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 24 yards out. The away team adds to their score. Six, nothing. The away team is happy to get a score there, but I think they would have rather come out of that situation with more points. Number 88 takes the kickoff, makes the return up to the 24-yard line. The offense has to feel good about where they are. They're down by a single score and are in control of what happens next. Number 38 drops back, hurls a pass deep off to the left side. Giving up those yards so quickly, even the mascot looks frustrated with the defensive. He drops back to pass, makes a hard throw. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Dropping back. And he's taken down by Montana. Tonight. He muscles one out to the sideline. That will bring up second down. Talk about rifling a pass in there, Dave. Next week, I'm bringing him duck hunting with me. I can save money on bullets with this guy. Number 38 steps back into the pocket, and he misses his mark. The home team with five receivers. Go! Throws a heater past the first down. He can't bring it in. <laughs> the kick is made. And it's good. The home team recovered some ground with that score. Six, three. The home team pulls it into a one-score game there. Number seven kicks this one away. The kick is caught at the two. Tackled after a return of 23. This drive represents a great opportunity to send the defense reeling. Another score to extend their lead would give them the ability to exercise a lot of control in terms of play calling. The handoff is taken by number 34. That will bring up second down. Dropping back. Incomplete pass. Go. Caught.
Five receivers for the away team. Quarterback to pass. He rifles one. Way downfield along the sideline. That will move the chains. The offense is giving the chain gain a workout down there. They were barely set before needing to move. Pitching it off to number 34. Second down. Throws the ball. The receiver can't bring it in. Let's see what the call is on third down. Throws a fastball out past the first down marker. First down. He drops back. And they can't connect incomplete. With drop passes like that, it's clear to see why teams like to run more in rainy conditions. Go. Number 34 takes the carry. That brings up a crucial third down. The running back on the carry. That'll bring up fourth down. That's the right call in that situation. The defense is stacked against the pass and is hoping the offense wants to take a deep shot to try and pick up the first down. The away team comes out in field goal formation. There's the kick, and it's good. The away team widens their lead, 9-3. The home team is still in good shape. Even with the score, it's still a one-possession game. Washington boots it. Fielded at the two-yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 23. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. Hike. Number 89 makes a nice catch. That gets us to second down. The whiteout wasn't too quick to give that pass up. For a second, you wonder if it wasn't just embedded into his hands. He steps back to pass. He fires a pass. Incomplete. The home team comes out in a four-receiver set. Number 34 on the run. The away team uses their first time out. That brings up fourth down. Out comes the punt team. Number 66 on the punt. The kick is caught at the 19-yard line. This drive coming up is a good chance for the offense to give themselves a bit of breathing room. And they can't connect incomplete. Second down for the away team. Puts his arm into this one. The home team will call their first time out here. That brings up a crucial third down. Number 
number 34 takes the ball. The home team calls their second timeout. That brings up fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. Washington punts it away. Smith takes the kick. This is a good position for offense to be in. It's a one-score game, and they've got a good opportunity to go down the field and get some points. Setting up shop from the 25. He fires a pass past the first down marker. He can't make the catch. Second down for the home team. He drops back, throws a fastball up beyond the first down, and he can't reel it in. Let's see what the call is on third down. He hands it off. The away team takes their third time out. That'll bring up fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. Number 66 punts it away. Number 31 catches the punt. This drive represents a great opportunity to send the defense reeling. Another score to extend their lead would give them the ability to exercise a lot of control in terms of play calling. He steps back to pass. Grabbed out of the air. That brings up second down. Amazing job by the receiver to make that catch with defenders breathing down his neck. Go! Tosses the ball, and he can't reel it in. Let's see what the call is on third down. The home team will take their third and final time out here. That'll bring up fourth down. The away team will kick this one away. Washington punts it away. Fielded at the 18. The home team has to feel good about where they are. They're down by a single score and are in control of what happens next. This drive will begin from the 22. Hike. Puts his arm into this one. Second down. Further back to pass, throws a heater off to the sideline. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. Third down. The QB hands it off. That brings up fourth down. That's a smart play call. You were in a bad position on third down. Take a few yards and live to fight another day. Number 66 on the punt. Number 31 catches the punt. This drive represents a great opportunity to send the defense reeling. Another score to extend their lead would give them the ability to exercise a lot of control in terms of play calling. And that brings us to the end of the second quarter. The away team up so far. Nine, three.
Washington sends it off. Fielded at the two-yard line. Tackled after a return of 19. Our own Emma Adams has some news for us from the sideline. What can you tell us, Emma? Guys, I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. Their passing attack in the first half was described as needing significant improvement. If they want to end up on top at the end of this game, they'll need to be more consistent in the air. Back to you guys. Thanks for the insight, Emma. A five defensive back set for the away team. Number 38 dropping back. The slot receiver makes the reception. Third and short. There's a penalty marker on the field. Passes one to the back. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team will accept the penalty. Defensive coordinators want aggressive players, but not at the cost of penalty yards. Lining up with two backs. Pitches it out to number 34. Second down. Second down for the home team. Drops back into the pocket. He makes the throw, and it's picked off by the defense. It's hard to do, Dave, but you've got to let it go. Own the mistake and move forward. This QB is better than that one mistake. This drive coming up is a good chance for the offense to give themselves a bit of breathing room. Steps into the pocket. He tosses one. He can't bring it in. Second down for the away team. Tackled near the line by number 54. A crucial third down for the offense. He can't bring it in. He had his hands on it, but it looks like the wet ball just slipped right through his fingers. Out comes the punt team. He punts it away. The punt goes into the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. Setting up shop from the 20-yard line. Steps into the pocket. He fires a pass. He can't bring it in. Second down. Number 38. Back to pass. Makes the reception. That gets us to third down. Boy, Dave, you talk about a bullet pass. That ball could have been pulled over mid-flight. Do you know how fast you were going there, son? He rockets a pass, and it's off. With drop passes like that, it's clear to see why teams like to run more in rainy conditions. The home team comes out in punt formation. He punts it away. Number 31 catches the punt. The away team comes into this drive with a one possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. The away team will begin the drive from the 32 yard line. There is a flag on the play. The home team takes the penalty. Traditional wisdom puts the blame for penalties on the coaches. Quarterback to pass. 
Incomplete pass. Second down and long. Quick. Makes a hard throw. The QB hands it off. That'll bring up fourth down. Sometimes it's a good strategy to play the field position game. Get yards when you can and hope for a good stop on defense so you can give it another go closer to the end zone. Washington punts it away. The kick is caught at the 12-yard line. The offense has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. The quarterback makes the handoff. Second down. Lining up on second down. Number 38 drops back. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Let's see what the call is on third down. Go. The quarterback back to pass. Number 89 on the reception. That brings up fourth down. The defense has to rally after that. You can give up a big play. That's going to happen. But don't let this turn into a momentum builder. Go. Number 66 punts it away. Number 31 takes the punt. The away team comes into this drive with a one-possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. He hands it to number 34. Number 17, looking to pass. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. Five defensive backs for the defense. <laughs> Handing it off to number 34. That will bring up third down. Third down. Number 17, looking to pass. That's one of those things that's just not coachable, Dave. You either have the ability to launch a ball in there like that, or you don't. First down. Go! Pitches it out to number 34. Second down. The quarterback, back to pass, finds a target off to the... It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. That's what makes this guy dangerous. He's just a playmaker. You can't coach that kind of speed or instinct. Here's the kick. It's good. The away team extends their lead. 16-3. You see the defense almost motion to clear some room on the bench. These guys are getting winded. Washington kicks this one away. The kick is caught at the three. And he's brought down after a return of 23. The home team has dug themselves into quite a hole here. They've got a chance to regain some of that on this drive. Uh -huh. 
Missed tackle. Number 88 makes the completion. Second down. Second down and short. Tackled near the line. Back at the 31. Third down. Third down. The QB back to pass. And he's forced out. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. That's a great pitch and catch for the first down. A fresh set of downs for the offense. Go. Eluding defenders. That gets us to second down. Fifth play of the drive for the home team. Hike. Bullet pass short to the sideline. This defense is going to have to get its assignments in order. If not, they can expect to give up yardage all day. The home team lining up with three receivers. Hike. And he's tackled up near the line at the 48-yard line. Number 38, back to pass, snagged out of the air. That gets us to third down. That signals the end of the third quarter. The away team up so far, 16, three. Go. Dropping back, fires one. The receiver can't bring it in. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. He punts it away. The punt will sail into the end zone and will be brought out to the 20-yard line. The home team could really use a big play here on defense, something to spark a comeback. Makes the throw. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Second down. Tonight. The handoff is taken by number 34. Drops back into the pocket. Incomplete. The away team comes out in punt formation. Washington punts it away. Smith takes the kick, and he's brought down after a return of eight. The home team needs to execute on this drive if they want to start eating away at that lead they've let the other team build up on them. Number 38, back to pass. The slot receiver catches it. Second down. That's one of those things that's just not coachable, Dave. You either have the ability to launch a ball in there like that, or you don't. He drops back. Puts his arm into this one. The receiver can't bring it in. Third down. He steps back to pass. That will move the chains. First down. Hike. 
He pitches the ball to the runner. Tackled near the line by Moore. That will bring up second down. The home team with three receivers. Dropping back. He breaks free. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Let's see what the call is on third down. Tonight. Number 38, back to pass. Number 89, with the catch. Fourth down. The home team is going to try for three here. There's the kick. Just a bit outside. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. Setting up shop from the 34. He steps back to pass. Pass complete to number 34. I remember throwing footballs through swinging tires as a kid. I'm willing to bet this QB did the same thing. That pass was dead on. He takes the ball. The tight end lines up on the right side. He pitches the ball to the runner. That will move the chains. First and ten. The running back on the carry. Number 17 tosses one out. That brings up a crucial third down. Third down and short. Number 34 on the carry. He punts it away. And the punt goes into the end zone for a touchback. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. Number 38 looking to pass. He can't bring it in. The home team with three receivers. The handoff is taken by number 34. That brings up a crucial third down. Steps into the pocket. Throws a pass along the sideline. He scored! When I played, I used to love chucking it down the field like that. Great throw and catch for the touchdown. The kick is made. It's good. The home team closes the gap a bit. 16, 10. We've got a close one here, Dave. We'll see if they can continue to eat away at that lead. Number seven kicks it. The kick is caught at the one, and he's brought down after a return of 17. The away team can make this a two-score game with a nice drive and finish here. Let's see if they can execute.
Pitches it out to number 34, second down. Second down. Strike. He flings a pass over the middle. Some throws require touch and some require zip. That, my friend, was a rocket shot. Number 17, under center. Hike. Number 17 with the handoff. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. This is not the type of offense you want to hand momentum like this to. They have some real threats on the field. He takes the ball. Lining up on second down. The home team comes out with five DBs. He rockets a pass short along the sideline. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. Let's see what the call is on third down. Fires one. Incomplete pass. When it's raining like this out there, the receivers need to take an extra second out there to secure the catch. Go! Washington on the punt. The kick is caught at the 13. If the offense can drive down the field and get some points here, I'd expect to see a big momentum shift in the game. They'll start things off from the 19. Number 38 steps back into the pocket. The defense is just looking around at each other. Nobody was willing to risk a finger to tip that pass, I suppose. Tosses the ball. Incomplete. Catching some of these passes is hard enough. When it's raining outside, it's no wonder we're seeing drops like that today. Go. Number 38, back to pass. Pulled in by number 89, fourth down. In the pregame, the coach talked about the secondary taking some risk, but they need a little more reward out of their guys today. Drops back into the pocket, fires a rocket, and he can't reel it in. The offense felt like it could convert on fourth down, but the defense was up to the challenge. Go! Breaking away from the defense, the home team uses their first timeout. That brings up second down. Number 17, dropping back, makes the catch. The home team takes their third time out. It's important for quarterbacks to have a nice repertoire of passes. That was a great example of a bullet pass. The home team takes their last time out. Lining up on second down. Third and long.
Fourth down. I think that's a good call by the coach. There's still a lot of game left, and you don't want to force things and make a mistake here. The away team comes out in field goal formation. Mike, you know what time it is. We're all anxious to hear who you've got as the stun of the game. Who is it? Lewis, for the away team, made the whole team better today and earned my stud award. You can't watch this game without seeing him dominate all over the field. 